Okay, I'm about to head it home. I've been here since 11 o'clock last night. Anyway, I've got this prop sitting on here. Got a nice twist to it. I didn't take this carving out on the back. I just made it a thicker foil. Just within reason, because that's a slower part anyway. And the angles are real nice on this. I stuck it on that old green tape drive motor. Been wanting to make a wind turbine out of it for a long time. Give you a view of the end here. Not a bad little curve on her. And I could have cut this off like I normally do, but I said, well shoot, yeah, I'll just take the little extra out here and I'll fill them holes later. Here's two more. This one came out pretty decent. I'll layer down, get a better view. I decided to make the end a little bit thinner. Yep, I haven't finished doing the curve on that yet. Not bad. That was the first one that came off the machine. This is the second one. Oops, don't want to drop these. And it's got a nice little curve on the end. A little, little shallow in uh, thickness, but it's all right. I could make this one down. Let's look at the angle on it. We look at that flat part there. Notice it's just, bare, uh, just barely an angle past being flat, and that's actually three degrees. <laughs> and I think I got three degrees here. Unless things have twisted. Oh, no, yeah, she's still there, right about three degrees. And I think this is dry now. I can go ahead and tip it. Looking at the angle on this, I went ahead and put four degrees for the tip. Should give it a, just a little bit more torque and a little less speed. That's alright. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. <laughs> Many good things to you and yours. Look at that beautiful twist on them. Mm, I love it. Uh, while we're at it here anyway, I'll give you a little close-up. I rigged a light on my camera on LEDs. These are all garage door pins that uh, run up and down the track. This one here, this one here, which is basically, if you look in here, I ground down. Where's my finger? Yeah, if you look in here, I ground down straight across, just curved it, knocked out some wood, set it down, two screws up up here and then one here and the same thing over here on this one and there's one more down here this one uh, basically keeps this little gap in here a little small gap there I think I can do this but there we go there's the gap that gap tries to close that wheel touches and the same thing over here this wheel just barely is always touching and that gap is there and the same thing up at the top I've got one same thing up here at the top I've got one there one there and one more underneath plus I've got the one right there on the on the end and another one on the end over here so that makes nine in all and there's the track that the skill saw slides in. And it goes like this. That cable pulls it up. That cable that runs from up there comes over here and pulls it up and changes the angle. Oh, and one more added feature I just did. There we go. I can see right down there beautifully.
<laughs> One dollar at the dollar store. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. And, uh, one more thing. Look at all that sawdust. That's from one prop. I got more bags of that. Anyway, eight uh, stingers or uh, drywall screws all the way around here. This slides down. It's got a pin on it. I had to put it on with the nut inside because I didn't have a big enough drill bit. There's a there's a real big nut that's about one and three eighths of an inch <laughs> that goes on top of that, and I got it tight through that hole. I had to put it inside, then screw the bottom on, put the pin in, slide the uh, slide it down, and then get that nut started, and then tighten it up. <laughs> that's a trick. But anyway, she's tight and doing pretty good. Plus, I smacked the thread to make sure that it wouldn't come undone. This is a tape drive motor, and the difference between it, it's got a, it's got a lower RPM per volt. It doesn't take as many RPMs to get it up to voltage. It's usually, uh, these are on the old surplus computers that used to run the big tapes. That's why they call it a tape drive motor. Those are the motors. <laughs> and you figure when the Commodore 64 came out, well, at least we were using cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> come a long way but these these are great they're, they're they're made to run very very smooth so they've got a lot of windings separate windings and it's got a cap stand that won't quit and it's got so many uh it's got a cap stand with a lot of positions on it if you turn this you can see it cog just a little bit let's do it here there goes the next one you'll see it come back goes forward and then backwards a little bit very little cogging. You can barely tell. But they do put out. The uh, treadmill motor, eh, you have to gear up and then there's some losses. This is very efficient. I had two of these. I had two of these. And when I hooked them together and I turned one like this, the other one would do this. And then when I went like this, the other one would do this. 95% efficient. These came from NASA and then uh, to a friend of mine and from a friend of mine to me. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you. Here.